Hello, Tech Geometry families. Uh, welcome to Back to School Night 2021. So, uh, my name is Ellie, and this is Cheyenne, and we wanted to give you um, some information about the class that we teach called Tech Geometry. Um, so just a, a brief rundown, it is a co-taught class, so your students will see both of us every single day. Um, and I'll let Cheyenne introduce themselves real quick. Yep, like Ellie said, my name is Cheyenne. Uh, you'll also hear your student call me Simo. Uh, my pronouns are they, them. My email is right here on the screen. Um, and as Tech Geometry is a co-taught class, your students have a CTE teacher, me. I have a background in cabinet making and woodworking. And they also have a math teacher, Ellie. And I'm Ellie. Uh, my email is also on the screen if you ever want to reach out. And I use they, them pronouns as well. I am their, technically their geometry teacher, but we are always together um, supporting them in both, both areas. Um, in tech geometry, the whole premise of the class is that students learn geometry through building. So some parts of the class, we see them every day instead of every other day, and we see them all year long. Um, and at the end of it, they end up with their geometry credit for high school and they also get an elective credit in building construction. All right, let's talk a little bit about grades. I'll find a good spot for us here. So um, they're gonna get, like, like Cheyenne was saying, they're gonna get two credits. So as far as geometry, the way that they can get their grade in geometry is through weekly classwork. Um, and we do that all inside the classroom unless they're absent. Um, and it's about four to six word problems per week. And we give them time and some notes and support on doing those. And then for each unit, we'll have some quizzes um, or tests that will also help with their grade. And then in building construction, they will be graded based off of their build projects that they do either individually or most of the time in their groups. Um, another resource that we wanna point out to you that a lot of you learned about last year in CDL is Canvas. So Canvas, um, you can get to that website use typing in lms.pps.net. That is a place where we, we post every classwork that we do and then all of our notes from class each week. Um, and so if a student, if your student is absent, um, that is a really great place for them to kind of check in and try to keep up with the class while they're gone. And then of course, when they return, we have a lot of ways to support them getting back into the rhythm. Um, after their absence. Um, they can also, when they're home, they are able to take a picture of their work that they might write down in their notebook and upload it. Um, if they're not able to do that or need help doing that, they can just contact us or turn it in when they return to school. Another resource that's really going to be crucial for you throughout all four years is um, checking parent view. So the students have used student view and then um, you all as family members use parent view and you can check your student's grade um, there to kind of keep track of, of what they're missing or how well they're doing. Um, we wanted to let you know, because uh, your student might have come home and, and communicated this to you, is that uh, typically Tech Geometry is working with power tools. Um, we're building things for the community. Currently, we're waiting for a shop to be built for us at the Marshall campus. It probably won't be done until uh, mid-November we've been told so um, we're starting the year out a little bit differently than we normally do or usually in the shop by now um, so our first few build projects will be at a smaller scale things that we can accomplish in the classroom and then when we get the opportunity to get into our shop we'll start to learn the power tools and by spring we'll be working on some community projects Um, related to our first smaller project, we are currently looking for any types of wax that can be donated for um, our first project where we're going to be pouring fire starters into 3D molds that are designed and created by students. So if you have any you know, remnants or ends of candles, please send um, them to school with your student and we're going to start a big collection of those things. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, and lastly, we wanted to make sure that you have ways to uh, contact us throughout the year. We'd love to um, open up a conversation about your students so that we can know how to support them throughout the year. Um, we know that the information we gave you in this video is pretty minimal. Um, 
So you can always email us. We really encourage that form of communication with us. Um, in fact, for all of the teachers, it will always be the first letter of their first name and then their last name at pps.net. Um, so there are emails up there. We also encourage you to get set up with the Remind app. Your students can contact us. They can text us and call us on Remind, um, but you can as well. So this um, website down here, pps.net slash page slash 15513 walks you through how to get your um, you yourself signed up with Remind. Um, and we really do encourage you to reach out with questions, concerns. We can have a dialogue about how best to support your student in tech geometry. Thank you. We look forward to seeing you potentially at back to school night. And if you can't make it, hopefully this information will help um, and definitely contact us. And then we will probably have some conferences that we can have longer conversations with you all in November. Thank you.